Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n which represents the number of seats in a theater and the integer x, y, z which represents the seats in block a, b and block c respectively and then now we have to get the n characters so we'll get the n characters as f means b means it is booked and f means it is not booked and then integer k which represents the number of seats the family wanted continuously so we must print yes if the k seats are available continuously in the same block else will print no so first we are going to accept the integer n which represents the number of seats in the theater then integer x y z which represents the seats in block a block b and block c and then we have to accept the n characters that is the seats whether it is booked or not booked and then we have to accept the integer k which represents the number of seats the family wanted continuously and we have to print ds yes if k seats are available continuously in the same block yes we have to print no now we will take our first test case so here we have 20 seats and in block a we have 4 block b it is 12 and block c it is 4 so now we'll separate them accordingly and we can see that this is 4 and then we have 12 and block c we have 4 and the number of seats family wanted continuously is 4 so 4 can be available continuously in block b so we'll print yes as the output now we'll take our another test case so here we can see we have 20 seats and we'll separate them accordingly to their blocks and now we have to check for four seats continuously here it is not present here also it is not present and here also it is not present so since no four seats are continuously present we are going to print no as the output get clarifications for any program and clear your program errors effortlessly by using our instagram page programming made simple here we have mentioned our insta id in this video description let us implement our program first we'll get the input n x y z where n represents the total number of seats and x y z represents the seats in block a block b and block c respectively and then we'll get the seats as input of dot split off so first they will be in the form of list so we'll convert them to 
string and join them so that it will be easy to perform our operations and then we have the integer k which represents the number of seats wanted by the family continuously and then we have block a block b and block c so the n seats will be separated with block a block b and block c so for block a we have colon x which represents the x seats and then for block b it is between the x seats and the z seats that is x colon minus z that is leaving x and leaving the z we have all the seats and then for block c it is minus z colon which represents the z seats at the last and now we are going to check our condition that is if f into k in block a that is if k number of seats is available continuously in block a or block b or in block c means we are going to print yes as the output else we are going to print no so now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output because there are four seats available continuously now we'll pass our second test case so here we have got no as the output because we don't have four seats available continuously our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video